Alright, survivors, welcome back to The Long Dark. We're picking up right where we left off here with Granny Graymother. It is now morning. We had slept through the night. We all got a nice night's sleep, eight hours worth, and he even was able to pare down his pack and get ready for today's travels. We're underweight, and we have, uh, we have Lily's climbing gear with us, and a bunch of food and medication, and I think we are ready for our journey out of Milton. Oh, don't be don't be cross with us, Granny. We have to go. We can't we can't stay here forever. We gotta fly the bird box, you know, you gotta let us fly. <laughs> so we did fill up Granny's refrigerator and a wood bin. So she should be able to survive for a little while, right? And if we ever come back this way, I said if we ever come back this way, we'll visit, okay? Alright, so you guys pointed out a couple of things that I have not done or things I missed, like some notes in the last episode. So we read this a while ago, I just never picked it up. So I was told if we picked it up, it will kick off a new quest that we are going to want to do and get something important. So what does that say? Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Extra supplies. We have to get more supplies. More food and more fuel. Oh my gosh, 20,000 calories and 36 wood or fuel. Uh, holy smokes. <laughs> All right, Granny, I don't think we're going anywhere soon. Wow, that is a lot, but you know what? We might have enough. Now, I did pare down my pack to be prepared for this journey, but I left a lot of food behind. I wonder if we can just um, meet that requirement right now with all that stuff. But before we do anything, let me just... Uh, should we eat and drink? Yeah, let's just drink right quick. How about a condensed milk? That'll fill up our belly. And I'm pretty sure we have enough food in that cabinet to satisfy that 20,000. If not, we're gonna have to head back into town. Oh my gosh, all right, well this is good. Granny's gonna need this. And as far as I know, she's gonna give us something in return. I don't think the water is gonna qualify. I don't, there's no calories in water. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. You sure can, Will, right now, okay, buddy? Let's dump it all in. She particularly loves her dog food. We'll give her the, uh, that can there, a bunch of granola bars. I'm keeping the tea and the coffee for us. We'll give her the, uh, cattail stalks, <laughs> more chocolate bars. I mean, it's not the healthiest food. Although, peak, uh, peakles? Pin pinnacle peaches, say that a thousand times fast, should be perfectly fine for her. And she loves her tuna. And tomato soup. I was thinking about making some tomato soup before we leave. Get a nice warm belly. See where we're at. Oh my gosh, we still have a ton. Uh, okay. How about beef jerky? Does she have any teeth? I don't know. Can she chew beef jerky with false teeth? We'll find out. Let's, um... Oh man, I love the peanut butter. So many calories in there. Give her another soda. That soda. And maybe a couple of zap energy bars. Those are really good for travel, though. Oh my gosh. Is that gonna do it? It did it! Yay! Now, can we get stuff back, I wonder? Nope. <laughs> you can't get it back once you give it to her. All right. Granny, your food's all set, okay? We gave you extra food. You got all kinds of goodies in there. Be careful with the uh, with the beef jerky, though, with your teeth. It could be a problem. Let's see if this coal will satisfy the fuel requirement. We can't bring it with us, so we might as well use it up, right? That's what my grandma always used to say about money. When she spent money on us, my mom would get so mad because my grandparents didn't have a lot of money. But she used to say, you can't bring it with you. So that was her uh, that was her excuse for spending a lot of money on her grandchildren. All right. Um, Might have to drop some gear. We're going to do that, Will. Just chill. Keep your pants on, brother. Now, what about all the books? I wonder if books qualify as fuel. I think they do, don't they? Let's find out. Oh, gosh. All right, yeah, transfer them all. This is going to be so heavy. Will's going to get so mad at me. <laughs> And I was so ready to roll. We had the pack nice and light. Uh, whatever. Oh, wow. Big storm out here. It's not that cold, though. Oh, yeah, it is. Never mind. I take that back. All right, let's dump in the coal first. All that coal, all the sticks, and all the reclaimed wood. Um, oh, shoot. I kind of wanted to save one of those. Eh, whatever. And how about a bunch of these books? Like... 11 and that will save four books for us according to my calculations and now let's check before we give her too much oh my gosh we're still short by a bunch 
Um, let's give her a log. I want to hold on to one log, just in case we need to light a fire in the new place. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, let's go grab some sticks. Well, some sticks here. You know what we need to do? We do need to go check on the bunny rabbit on our snare, which is down by the church, but I don't know if we're going to make it. It is cold out here. I mean, that temperature's dropping fast. Are we still heavy? No, we're not. Should we do that? Should we just make for the uh, make for the bunny? We got to do that anyway, because that is a quest I want to finish. I think we might be able to do it, and then light a fire over there. All right, let's let's run it out. See if we can get to the church before we freeze to death. Temperatures are dropping <laughs> so fast. We should have warmed up first. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, this might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Sorry, Will. I always get you in these predicaments. Let's get a gun out, by the way, because sometimes there's wolves here. All right, hop in that car. Hop in the car, Will. Get in there. Whew. Um, hate to say it, but we're not really warming up in here, but at least we can get our energy back. Can you get your energy back here? Yeah, this is probably a bad idea. Oh, there's a note on the dashboard of a car that I missed that you guys pointed out in the comments. So we'll go back there and check that out. And one at the school, too. So, yeah, keep those comments coming. I very much appreciate them. I do tend to miss things. I'm not perfect. Especially when uh, I have to focus on the game and also add colorful can't commentary. I can't feel your feet either, Will. So what does that mean? What, what do you think is special? We never checked this. Nothing here. All right, let's get our energy back, and then we're going to make a run for it. Oh, my gosh. Look how cold it is here. I'm sorry, Will, but I think we can make it. And then we're going to have to light a fire in the church, too. That's the irony of all this. <laughs> Warm back up again. All right, we can do it. Do not stop at that truck. Can we do it? Oh, I don't think we're going to do it. Uh, get in, quick. Woo. We made it. And we're warming up nicely in here. Okay, put the gun down. Let's get a fire started. Um, we don't want to use too much fuel because we've got to give it to Granny. <laughs> oh, what a catch-22. This is driving me crazy. I thought we were going to leave today. But we got to tie up these loose ends. We'll warm up. We'll check that bunny snare. Run back to Granny's. Fill up her box with wood. And then we'll be out of here. Oh, no. Actually, we got to check on the note at the school. And there's a house. The hermit house we want to check too, right? We're going to burn everything. Just burn it all. Burn it all. Um, just add a book and a stick. Um, all right. Hopefully that'll burn for a while. We can break up this plank. Nine minutes. It's going to use up our hatchet. Well, you know what? We're doing a good deed for an old lady. So I don't have a problem with this. She's a nice old lady. Took us in. She didn't have to do that. But she did. And, oh, we're going to have to burn the good book. Well, you know what? Sometimes you have to burn things that you don't want to burn when you're going to die as an alternative. <laughs> so, oh, no, I don't take a torch. You ding dong. I wanted to add fuel. Well, that torch is pretty cool, isn't it? All right, we'll add a stick. All right, is that going to warm us up? Will the torch warm us up? If we go outside now. All right, we got uh, 20 minutes of warmth. We're gonna, we might have to add a little bit more fuel. Let's add a book. All right, hour 19 minutes. Wow, those books burn well, don't they? Any more wood around here? Let's break up this plank. Our axe is getting dull now crying shame but we're gonna need this wood to give to granny anyway right another nine minutes yeah we haven't found a um a sharpening stone have we we have not hopefully we can find one of those pretty quick when we get into the new territory all right let's just make sure we have enough stuff here for granny i think that should fill that box up and we're still underweight but if we get too tired, we're gonna lose. Um, we're gonna lose strength. While we're sitting here doing nothing, let's cook up that banged up soup I was holding on to. That'll give us a warming up effect and fill the belly. 
There we go, and we'll just pass the time and eat it. And we should be now back up to full warmth. Yes, indeed we are. And how about a quick drink? Sheesh. Yeah, sorry about this. I thought we were done here in Milton. But I have a feeling we're going to get something awesome when we meet this condition for your Grandster. Should we grab a torch? Let's just take a torch. They're always fun to throw at the wolves, right? All right, out we go. Let's go check on that snare. Oh, the torch went out. <laughs> really? All right, we'll throw it. It's too windy to light a torch, but I guess that makes sense. Now, where was that bunny wabbit? It's over here somewhere, right? That snare. Did I not put that snare, like, right here? Uh, I don't remember where I put it, guys. I know it was over here somewhere. Is it back here behind the church? Um, I'm gonna grab a stick just... Oh, there it is. Oh, there's nothing in it! Are you kidding me? What? Oh, boy. Alright, well, I better take it. I don't get it. But we're gonna have to set it up somewhere else. Do we have to snare a bunny in Milton, or can we do it anywhere? I'm assuming we can do it anywhere. Alright, let's head back. Um, you know what? I'm gonna just check that quest to make sure. Side mission! Place a snare and catch at least one rabbit. I guess we can do that somewhere else. We don't need to do it here, do we? So we'll get his energy back and let's make a run for it. Alright, well, we'll figure that out later. Okay, let's go. Is this the right way? Yes. Back toward Milton. Run it out, Will. Actually, you don't have to run right now. I think we can make it without the running. Should we check this trunk? Yes, let's check it. Could be something amazing in here. <laughs> or it could be empty. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, I saw a couple of really good tips in the comments about leaving some kind of a junk, piece of junk behind out front of a house that you, um, you know, that we uh, search. So we don't go back to it the same places twice, right? What was that? Yeah, that's a good idea. I will, I'll remember that and try to, well, I'll try to remember that and do that from now on. We can drop like a tinder plug or something, or paper plugs. Speaking of paper, I think I have a ton of paper. Why do I feel so short in this bridge all the time? I feel like I'm running on my knees here. All right, slow it down, Will. You no need to rush. Even the wolves don't come out in this garbage. Man, this is a nasty storm. Yeah, it's a good thing we're not leaving Milton today because I wouldn't want to climb in this. <laughs> this has got accident written all over it. Tree! Woo! I love this the audio in this game. It is tremendous. It did such a nice job with that. I think we have time to go check that note over here at the school, right? Let's go run it out. You guys said I missed one. So let's go see if I can locate it. In the back? Uh-oh, wolvesies. Wolvesies! Oh! <sighs> Trees are falling down everywhere. Oh, there it is, yes. Alright, let's uh let's just grab it. I'll read it later. Medicine in my backyard. Oh, it's a stash! Woo! It's a stash. Fantastic. And we might as well stop at the car I missed over here too. Apparently there's a green car. Alright. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can see it clearly right now in the daytime. This one we could read here and catch our breath. Betrayal. I left him like I promised I would, and I waited here like you asked. Where are you? It's getting too cold to sit here. Pick me up at the old PO when you can, and let's get out of here. If you don't pick me up by midnight, I'm out, I'm out of here on my own. Alright, some kind of clandestine rendezvous between two lovers or something. Uh, that does not start a quest, but we have it. So, thanks. <laughs> Alright, now, let's get to Granny's. Warming up has expired. I want to die out here. And let's dump in that wood. How about a bunch of reclaimed? That many, and some sticks, and some newspaper. Take it all, Granny. Alright, let's check that box. Extra supplies. We did it! Okay, quick, get in. Woo! 
Granny, it's us. Don't shoot. We're back. And we we filled up your wood box and your refrigerator, and this better be worth it, lady. All right, give it up. Wait a minute. I can't even talk to her. Do we do we do it? One last thing. Extra supplies. Uh, wait. There was supposed to be something amazing. <laughs> was she gonna give us the gun? Oh, are you kidding me? Granny, Granny. Oh man, what's going on here, guys? We just gave her everything. And she's not even talking to us. Hmm. Oh! There's a jacket here! It's a Mackinac jacket! <laughs> right where the note was! Wow, I love these jackets. I have one in real life. They're amazing! I love a good old wool lumberjack jacket. With Canadian flavor. <laughs> Beloved by hunters and lumberjacks alike. Oh, indeed. And it's fairly light, too. Let's check it out. Oh, look how wet all the clothing is here. We better go sit by the fire. Okay. Warm it up here by the fire. This isn't so bad after all. I think this is going to be worth it, guys. That is an amazing jacket. It's at 80% right now. 3.6, 2.9, 40% waterproof. Pretty good protection, too. And it's not that heavy. So let us compare that with... What are the jackets we're wearing right now? Ski jacket. Well, it's showing right now that it has better stats than the ski jacket, but I think that might be because the ski jacket is wet. But even so, I think it's just a better all-around jacket. And the inner layer here, Mackenzie's parka, is actually pretty good. So how about if we fix it up and we'll dry out, and then we'll we'll do a comparison then. So yeah, let's uh, let's fix it up. I think we have some cloth, and we have a sewing kit. So, 95% chance, Will. Don't screw it up, although his fingers are cold right now. Oh, no, his fingers are fine. Look at that. Perfect. All right. 100%. Oh, look at that. 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit and 3.6 against the wind. Yes, super coat. And it is better. This one's all dry now, so it is definitely better. And Will's coat is better on the inside, I think. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. That worked out. Thanks, Granny. Let's put the uh, Mackinac on the outside. Boom! And we can drop that ski coat. Just stuff it in the cabinet for Granny. She might need it if she decides to go skiing. I mean, she's got the boots, and now she has the jacket. And there's some mittens around here for you, too, in case you want to go skiing, all right? Oh, my gosh. The sun's going down. <laughs> I think we're staying here for another night. Yep. So here's what we're going to do, then. I am going to go and put that snare out somewhere closer where there's bunny wabbits. And then we'll check it in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we'll head out. We want to stop at that hermit house over here on the hill. Right? And there's another cache right here, too. Actually, we can go get that cache right now. And we'll put the snare out. How about if we do that? Yeah, that works for me. It sounds really cold out there, though. But I think we can do this. The cache isn't very far. Right down the road a little ways, and we just need to find some bunnies. I'm really surprised we didn't catch them at the church. Because there were a bunch of bunnies there. I know there's bunnies over here on the way to the park, but that's pretty far. Well, let's go get the cash then. At the very least, we can snatch up that cash. And, oh, wind at the back. That's lovely. I'm going to grab a couple of stones. I did drop my other ones. I kind of remember this one from the old playthrough, though it's been so long, I don't remember this, the specifics. Back here somewhere, right? Yep. I should be right on top of it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Found Hidden it. cash. Yeah, we I found it, Will. I'll take all the credit. Disinfectant. Oh, a lot of medication. There was medical supplies after all, right? All right. That's great. Extra stim certainly can't hurt. Um, now, I'm wondering if we should head down to the, um, to the gas station down that way and put that snare out. I think there have to be, there has to be bunnies around, right? Pretty sure. I'm just gonna duck inside here quickly. So we could run over to the Orc gas station. I know I, I missed some crackers over there you guys are talking about. We could snag those and eat them and then put the snare out. All right, yeah, let's go do this. Let's uh, let's put out that snare while we have an opportunity. Back into the blizzard. 
get that gun out. Yeah, I was hoping Granny was going to give us that rifle, but I have a feeling she really needs it. So she's not going to give that up very easily. But I'm sure we're going to get a rifle soon. In fact, I think we get it at the next stage or next chapter, whatever you want to call it. When we leave Milton and move on to um, the next area. So we'll, get, we'll have a rifle soon enough. Yeah, let's let's head inside the orca real quick. I wonder if uh, what's his face is still here, Methuselah. Doubt it. Methuselah? Oh, he is. Hi. How's it going, buddy? It's been a while. Let's see if he's got anything new to say to us. Go safely, <clears throat> and good luck to you. I hope you find what you're looking for. Uh huh. All right. Well, it's the same advice he gave us last time, if you want to call it that. All right. Well. Thanks. Hey, we missed some crackers last time we were here. You didn't eat them, did you? Probably ate them. I don't know where they were. <laughs> uh, we'll hunt them down. Oh, is that them right there? This is a crate. Crackers. Crackers, crackers, crackers. Oh! We have a locked locker back here. Forgot about it. Now that we have our pry bar, we can open it. I wonder if we had missed any other ones. Ragged windbreakers. Cheap nylon outer layer. That's garbage. <gasps> it's a Canadian toque. Pronounced toque. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad we came back here. I love this thing. Yes. Put it on. It's amazing. We're going to put it on the outside so everybody gets to see it. And we can fix it up and it'll have even better stats. If we can drop that nasty cotton toque. Uh, not even a toque, whatever it is, just a cap. You know, we'll hang on to it, because we might want to break it down. Alright, let's keep our eyes open for these crackers. Not seeing them. I'm not seeing any crackers here, and I've looked everywhere. I think you guys are crackers. I think you're all a bunch of crack crackers sending me on this wild goose chase. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe you saw this? I thought that was a cracker box? Or maybe I'm just blind. But I, I don't see any crackers, sorry. All right, Methuselah, have a nice life. We'll see you in another one. Let's go. Or probably we will see him again in this life at some point, pretty sure. All right, let's go snatch up a bunny rabbit. Um, you know what? I know there are bunnies on this trail up here because I'm sure I snatched a bunny here one time before in the old playthrough. Uh, we'll check that truck out later. Yeah, this is the hiking trail. This is how we're going to get out of here tomorrow. Oh, this, see? Bunnies! Yeah, I was, we were going to do this today, but like I said, we just don't have... It's too late now. We just don't have the time to do it. I'm going to put this right here. There's only one little bunny. I'm going to put it right here. That better work. Now, there's a note on this bulletin board. Let's go check it out. Can we take it? Yes, we can. Park warning. Uh, just grab it. We'll read it later. Something about um, bad things at the park. It's too cold to read it out here. And dangerous. And we're going to give that wabbit a second to get caught. Maybe we'll catch him here now. Oop, I hear wolves. Oh boy. Let's just check this truck out right quick. Maybe we'll snatch that rabbit. Oh! Bank deposit box key! <laughs> and more antiseptic. We're never leaving Milton, are we? Ay ay ay. All right, we'll go back to the credit union and check 20. It's probably just a bunch of cash. Useless in this day and age. But it should still be fun and give us something to do for the remainder of today. Although the sun is about to set here shortly. All right, well, let's head back to the credit union and check it out. Where's all the wolves at? Oh. No, well, you stop that now. We got a couple more things to do, buddy. Watch out for the wires. Are they live? Oh, this bunny's right here. Dang it. Well, too late now. Our snare's already out. Sorry, Will. We got you running to and fro here, pal. <laughs> it's all going to pay off in the end. Oh, finally, we got some game music, but we're going to lose it as soon as we go into the credit union. Yeah, the music needs to play more often. It's so good. I en end up adding my own music when it's not playing in the game. Number 20. Oh, it's the last box. 
Last box. It must be special. Are you special? This stuff will come in handy. Magnifying glass can be used to start a fire during daylight. You're kidding me? That's pretty cool. But kind of useless to carry around. It's heavy. Oh, my. It's all cash. A magnifying glass and a bunch of cash. You get all these lockers. None of these are locked, right? Yeah, we're done with the credit union. Um, okay. Magnifying glass. Let's go check that out. Here it is. Well, it's pretty light. Very light. Yeah, we'll hang on to it. We can use it to start a fire if we run out of matches. Alright, let's go. Alright, back to Granny's. For the night. Will's getting tired. All this running around. <laughs> Granny, we're back. We're not leaving today. So, do you have any food we can borrow? <laughs> well, we can't borrow it because I know we're not going to be able to give it back. But we are going to have to eat something. How about this uh, little cow condensed milk? Yeah, because we don't want to lose that um, well-fed benefit. So, let's eat the little cow. Fill up the belly. Pretty good. And uh, we'll save that for tomorrow. I think we can get through the night without losing that benefit. Yeah, we're down to one zap energy bar, an MRE, and two, uh, two peanut butter jars. So that's it. Might have to eat some leather after that. Okay. Well, I think we're done here for now, folks. I'm just going to, once again, get prepared for our journey. And we'll do that in the next episode. Just make sure we have everything we need and we're not carrying things we don't need to carry with us. And I think I might actually do some more repair work before bed. Like we'll fix up this toque. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have any cloth right now? I think so. Oh, yeah, we do. All right. Uh, 25 minutes? Wow. All right, Will. Get her done and then, we'll, then you can go to bed. Okay, buddy? He's not too tired. No, he's not. He's perfect. Look at that, 100% awesome Canadian flag toque. Doesn't get any better than that. All right, going to bed now. Good night, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. And good night, all. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.